the controversy of where Mr. Moscow has been sleeping has most likely been found. Uh, as you can see, there's a pillow and a blanket set up. This is where we think he's sleeping. As you can see, many students are curious what Mr. Moscow was really doing. Okay, I'm here with the librarian, Ms. Davos. Have you heard of the rumors of Mr. Uh, Moscow sleeping in your library? I have heard, yes, yes. Did you see him doing anything? Did you see him sleeping? You know, I haven't seen him sleeping, but I did find a sock, I found a toothbrush, and I thought something strange was going on, but who would have thought it was Mr. Moscow? Yeah, definitely. Um, do you think this is a problem or maybe a solution to something that's going on at home for him? Well, you know, he works so much here. He's with the stage crew, he's working with the play. I mean, it's kind of natural that any resting time he has, he spends here. Yeah, thank Thank you. You're welcome. Um, hello, good afternoon. Uh, you know, uh, this might be one of the hardest things that I've ever had to do in my professional career. Um, but the rumors are true. Uh, I just feel like honesty is the best policy. Yes, I was, I was staying in the library temporarily. Um, Life threw me a series of twists and turns, and you know life's rough sometimes. Uh, but I'm I'm here, and I'm ready to answer each and every question that uh, you guys throw at me. So, uh, whenever you guys are ready, I'm I'm good to go. I'm an open book. Why are you sleeping? Uh, you know, it 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 was one of those things where I was here late working on a project, and uh, like I just kind of fell asleep and woke up, and. Uh, you know, it just kind of, it just, nobody caught me. Uh, it, was, it was nice. Uh, I, I got a good amount of rest here. It was pretty quiet overnight. Nobody's in the building. And uh, it, just, it just happened one night, and then it happened again. And then after a while, it was just kind of out of control. So why was there a pillow and blanket there? Well, I mean, after, after the first couple times, of sleeping there, I'm like, well, I might as well make myself as comfortable as possible. I mean, it's a blanket with a picture of my dog on it, so I just feel like, you know, that would be a little inconspicuous to keep around in the school. Like, if I brought a full comforter, that would be a little crazy. Uh, but if I just have a picture of my dog on a blanket, you know, like, I, it could be, like, you know, a nice little anecdote, I guess. Uh, have you been having, like, nightmares? Um, <laughs> I mean, uh, not, not any... Not any more nightmares than I normally have, you know. <laughs> uh, Dr. Doofenshmirtz has has haunted my nightmares. I just I just didn't want to let Dr. Doofenshmirtz down, and uh, I hope I hope I still have a good place in his heart. Wait, so what did you and your girlfriend get in a fight about? Uh, th there's no there's no fight. There's no uh, rumors of rumors of our breakup uh, have been severely uh, exaggerated. Um, I just, you know, I, I just, I just cared about my job so much that, that I wanted to stay here. Wait, so your girlfriend did kick you out? Uh, she might kick me out now after, after the light of this came up. I told her I was staying at a friend's house and she was cool with it. Uh, but you know. When do you plan on returning home? Um, whenever, uh, whenever the the questioning uh, with the school and. Uh, the police might have to get involved also for like trespassing, um, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Do you regret it? Uh, I mean, yeah. Like I could have just went home and slept in my bed like a normal person. Uh, it wouldn't have been that hard. Uh, I don't even know why what I was thinking, but yeah. You know. uh, I did not steal any cafeteria snacks. I wish I thought of that earlier, uh, but not, no no snacks were taken. Why are you mooching off the school? <laughs> uh, you know, like I said, it was just something that happened one time, and uh, it just it just worked with my schedule a little bit better. Uh, you know, you don't have to drive home, you don't have to drive to work, like, you know. What was the best part about it? Um, just like, it's like, yeah, you know, it's just so quiet in here, a lot quieter than, I live next to a busy street, there's always like, uh, not too far from the hospital. There's always ambulances going. It's just so quiet in here overnight. Like, no noise, no nothing. It's, it's very peaceful. Wait, so you're not showering. Were you the one that smelled in the library? <laughs> uh, that might have been me. Uh, 
I, I would, I would, you, you know, I would do one of those quick freshen ups in the men's room. I had, I had a spare bottle of uh, toothpaste, uh, some deodorant, and uh, you know, some some face wash and stuff. But, you know, I might have been stinking up the place every now and again. Would you stay if you could? Uh, in the library or in my job? Uh, in the library. Uh, you know, all facts considered and, and the embarrassment that I'm feeling now, I, I think that I, I'm probably better off staying at home. Uh, but it was nice while it lasted. So do you think you're going to be able to keep your job? I, ho I sure hope so. Um, but I will understand and accept any decision that the school comes to. Anything else? Do you have anything to say to anybody else about sleeping in the library? Uh, I'm just very sorry to my students for, you know, dragging you all into this. And uh, if I'm sorry to my, my family, I've come from a long line of Scotch Plains Fair High School fake. graduates. It is fake. I don't care. <laughs> I love sleeping in libraries. Uh, no, I'm very sorry, and I, I just hope that. I hope that everybody forgives me. Is that it? Does anybody else have anything else? I hope he gets fired. Hey, come on. All right, thank you. Thank you all so very much. Uh, and, I, and I hope to work for your forgiveness. As you can see, all of the evidence we have is pointed towards Mr. Moscow sleeping in the library. This case is not closed yet but if we find any information, we'll keep you updated.